Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 18. Also, it shall be when he sits on the throne of his kingdom. Read the first few verses up, and it's talking about when Israel will establish a king over them. That he shall write for himself a copy of this law in a book from the one before the priests, the Levites. And it shall be with him, and he shall read it all the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord his God and be careful to observe all the words of this law and these statutes, that his heart may not be lifted above his brethren, that he may not turn aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, and that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Israel. This verse really rings home to me because I actually started a year or two ago-ish somewhere. I actually started writing out by hand, I'm not even typing it up. I'm actually writing out by hand the scripture starting from Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. And I'm doing it based on that verse right there. Now, obviously, there aren't any kings any more than there are priests in the new covenant. Um, you know, people who are called to political positions, nothing wrong with that. And people who are called to the um, fivefold ministry apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. That's not the same as priests. Nowhere near the same. But it does say in Revelation chapter 1 and in First or Second Peter that we are kings and priests in Jesus Christ. That we are a royal priesthood. Each and every one of us who considers themselves a Christian. So, because I view myself as that, I, I write out the word of God as a king in the kingdom of God. Um, that mindset of being a king, that mindset of being a son of the Most High, I think that's very, very important. I'm not telling anyone else to do it, not saying you have to do as I've done. It's just something that I felt was important to me. It's something that the Lord laid on my heart. And you don't, while you don't have to necessarily write out the Word of God by hand yourself, and it is a daily commitment for me, it's something that I purposefully and intentionally do, write just a little bit every single day. Do keep in mind, you are a priest and you are a king in the kingdom of God under your Father, Jesus Christ. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you and God bless.